Well, we had a casualty today. Our friend Tiny Tim just didn't make it. Not for sure what happened, but you know, in, in the fish world, you get fish that they're doing great, like Tiny Tim was. The first day I got him, he seen me swimming around, small little guy, obviously, of course. And I fed him some blood worms. He ate it. I was like, yes, yes, he's gonna make it. Within 24 hours of feeding him, I fed him again. I thought he ate, and this morning he just didn't make it. And it's a sad day because Tiny Tim, aka uh, Chinchilla sea, uh, Peacock Bass, is one of my favorite uh, fish, and you know, soon be a monster. I mean, this fish can get up to 12 inches long, maybe more, depending on the size tank and how much you feed him. And we got. Got, you know, another fish here, you know, Big Bird, he's in the back, kind of hiding as always. My main concern about Big Bird is that I'm a little unsure of how he's going to do. He's not eating that much, and I'm getting kind of concerned how his health is. Let me turn around this way. You can see the front. He's looking a little shy, right? He's kind of hiding down below, so I'm not for sure how he's going to do. I'm definitely going to make sure I'm taking care of him, but, but, but unfortunately, our guy didn't make it. And when I think about that, I say to myself, when it comes to mental health, you know, when I saw Tiny Tim this morning on the bottom, he's not breathing, he's not doing well. What am I thinking to myself? I suck at fish hobby. I'm, I'm guilty of fish diet. I mean, I'm frustrated. I wasted money. But did I do the best thing I could? In other words, that I fed him. I gave him best water conditions. I try as much as I can. And sometimes, you know, in the fish hobby, you know, I'm not going to your local fish store and getting fish. Actually, I'm ordering fish online. They're shipping across country. So I'm in Washington. I order some fish that are coming from, let's say, New York City or Missouri. I come across country. Things can happen outside my control. But let me segue into mental health. When we think about ourselves and mental health, we get down on ourselves when things don't go our way. We get down on ourselves when we, we work so hard and it just didn't work. Why not? And I'm frustrated, I'm upset, I'm angry. First thing is, dude, is this, how do you feel, all right? Check in with yourself. Are you angry? Yeah, I'm angry. Okay, admit that. I'm angry, right? So most of us do one thing is we always justify. Well, a fish died. There's bigger problems in the world. No, a fish died. This should be better, right? We're always justifying the way things should be and saying how we feel, right? We can't do nothing about everything in the world. We can't do nothing about the way we feel, or sorry, the way other people may feel, our circumstances, but we can at least acknowledge the way we feel. And I was angry. Okay, okay, why am I angry? I'm angry because a fish died. I'm angry because I love this hobby, and I love taking care of fish, and I want to watch him grow. He's my favorite fish. Okay, so what does it say? I'm angry. Sit with that feeling. Just be angry. Be upset. And now I'm realizing, well, I did the best thing I could, given my circumstances, why he died, I'm not for sure, but I just think the best thing I could. And you know what tiny tam and other fish, and it's gonna be part of the hobby. And just don't give up. Keep pursuing if it's something you want to do and something you enjoy, it could be work, career, personal life, keep pursuing it. Because you will figure it out. You will learn more as you grow. And obviously, thank you for listening to another fishy Saturday. Unfortunately, Titan didn't make it, but there'll be more fish, bigger fish come very soon. And why mental health, my hobby is important. And always thanks for listening.